Hi there, I'm Barb with Snowman Lover's Papery at snowmanlover.blogspot.com and I'm here today to show you my Simple Card Monday project with Christmas with the Cricut. But first of all, I want to give a very special thank you to three people, Joy, Melanie, and Tammy from Christmas with the Cricut and also for Provocraft for providing this wonderful winter woodland cartridge. I'm going to get started on my project. My little girl's filming for me. And the first thing I have is all my materials laid out, and I'm going to go step by step. I talk really fast in real life, but I was a teacher for almost 20 years, so I'm going to slow it down to show you how I do this. I always have all my materials prepared, and I have my cardstock cut and ready to go. I've pre-assembled my little snowman, and I've done a little bit of pre-stamping. So let's get started. I wanted to make a long and very skinny card, kind of like the snowman. And I use this um, piece of paper. It's something I had around. It's uh, by Paper Tray Ink. And I cut this at four by nine and a fourth. I like to use a lot of layers. My next layer is chocolate chip, which I cut at three and three fourths by nine. My next layer is, um, is from Basic Gray. It's Eskimo Kisses. I just love this paper. It's double sided. And I cut this at three and a half by eight and three fourths. So I'm going to assemble that. And I have my little uh, snail runner from Stamping Up. I'm going to put my chocolate chip layer down. I always use my grid pad because this helps me line up my paper. And I cut my paper. Each one's cut in at a uh, one-fourth increment. Okay, before I put this on, and I should have not put the adhesive on there, I'm going to put my ribbon on, and a little trick is don't cut your ribbon real long. You don't want to waste your ribbon. And this is my one and fourth inch ribbon, um, double stitch from Stamping Up. I'm going to lay my paper right here, and I'm going to use the lines on my grid to line it up. And then I'm just going to turn it over and add a little bit more adhesive. And I'm going to, put, going to put it on the chocolate chip paper. So I have this all lined up with my little cheat method. I'm going to center this and just press down real hard. Okay, next I have my little snowman. I cut the snowman out at 7. And this is coordination's paper, which was donated to me as well. And I love, I didn't sand it or anything, but I love the little crackly feel and the un underside is red and it kind of shows through. Uh, anyway, I cut the snowman at seven. I cut his hat. To do that on the keypad, I just hit shift and then I hit the little snowman up here. And then to do his, um, the layers on the scarf, I hit layers right here and then I hit the little snowman. It's that simple. And the layering's really, really, really easy. I already have this uh, preset up with my little stamping dimensionals. These are by Stamping Up. I love them because they just little horse, they just pop out real easily. They're like a little honeycomb, and there's no waste. I cut this one in half right here. I know he looks polka dot it right now. Okay, I like a lot of dimension. So I'm going to pop the snowman, and I also, on the back of the snowman, just made an extra layer just for a little more dimension. I'm going to set this right up here. Okay, then I'm going to add to it something that I already pre-made, and I just stamped this with a stamp set called Mary. It's a retired stamp set from Stamping Up, and this says Joy. And my little Stampin' Dimensionals. I did three layers here. I started out with one and a half by two and a fourth on the chocolate chip and then I went in with the Eskimo Kisses paper and then I stamped it on the Whisper White with Joy. And I'm going to layer this just a little bit. I just want to cover it up a little bit just kind of for fun and give it a little bit of pop. I'm going to go back and put the ribbon on. But So far I have done this. This is not the exact material that I have listed on my blog. That was this one and I really love this paper but I didn't have any more to show you for the video. But I love this one too. Okay, for the inside I cut a little piece of paper from the Eskimo Kisses, and then I pre-stamped this, and it says, Think of Christmas, think of snow, think of Santa, ho, ho, ho. And I'm going to take my little uh, stamping spot, I'm stamping up, and I'm going to ink the edges. I just love these little things, and I did that on the front on the Joy one as well. I just want to show you how I did this. I like to give it a little bit of distressed look. And 
and kind of smudge it a little bit. Okie doke. Now I'm just going to take my adhesive and put it on the Eskimo Kisses paper. I just used two layers for this. Set it on the inside of the card. So I have that on the inside. Then on the back I'm going to turn it over and I have this little hand stamped by. I'm just going to ink that up a little bit and just stamp it right here on the bottom. There you go. And then I have my ribbon I pre-cut. This is a retired chocolate chip ribbon from Stamping Up and I want this to hang down a little bit longer than the other piece. It's real curly. I love it. Put a little bit of adhesive. Put it on the front. Okay, now I'm going to dress up my snowman a little bit. I'm going to add little lines for the eyes. These can be cut out on the Cricut too, but I just use a little bit of black marker. It has kind of a sleepy look. And then I have my white uniball pen. and I just love this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of whimsy on here. Just a few little dots and dashes and, you know, whatever. Each one is different. Just to make it a little bit of fun. A few little dots on the heart. And voila! You're done. Here's your Simple Card Monday. I want to thank you so very much for um, joining in and watching my video. Again, I want to thank the girls at Christmas with the Cricut and Provocraft. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.